The community says several fishermen in the area have allegedly been subjected to torture and harassment and their fish confiscated, despite being in possession of fishing permits from the fisheries ministry. Recently, two fishermen at Rianshulu were reportedly forced to sit on top of their canoes while the unpoaching unit members aimed their firearms at the canoes. The fishermen explained their ordeal with the unpoaching unit in Balero Conservancy outside the Mudumu National Park, saying the unit shot at their canoes, destroying them. After destroying these canes, they ordered us to the vehicles to offload our fish and put them in the government land cruiser, which became full of dry and fresh fish that we fished for three months. It was painful finding that we have fishing permits and national identity cards, though still we were tortured in this manner in our own land, forced to get into water with crocodiles, many that could kill us. As I entered my bedroom to look for my permit, a certain Kuduva was also in my bedroom, next to my bed. I asked what he wanted in my bedroom. If he told me to bring the permit, he told me he had the right to search my house. The traditional authority at Lianshulu now seeks an audience with Zambezi Governor Alufea Sampofu, saying the matter threatens the lives of the local community. We requested that they come with the head of anti-poaching, the head of environment and tourism, and of fisheries, because these are the people giving us problems. We do not understand why permits were issued, because once you are found with fish, even with a permit, you are fined and your fish is taken. Monazi stressed that the community respects the fish reserves and none of the community members in the area was found in Mudumu National Park despite residing at the edge of the National Park. Sililom Viana, NBC News, Lianshulu Village.